What is the rationale behind the focus on primary prevention by the Tennessee Department of Health? Uh, so, you know, I think where we find ourselves right now uh, you know, with the healthcare system that we know is massively expensive and broken uh, and understanding that we can't regulate, uh, we can't treat our way out of the healthcare crisis that we find ourselves in, we really have to focus on upstream prevention uh, and we can't wait till we, till we fix the healthcare system. We have to begin preventing preventable disease now because preventable disease is really driving uh, the costs and the, many of the complications that we find uh, in our healthcare system today. How did you get the idea to create the primary prevention initiative? Um, that's both a long story and, and a short story. Uh, the, the short story is um, health departments do um, primarily what they're asked to do and what they're funded to do. Uh, and we were providing a lot and still do providing, provide a lot of direct services. Um, so our focus was really more on secondary and tertiary prevention, so much so that many people didn't even really remember what primary prevention was, and that, uh, that upstream prevention was really the reason uh, health departments became uh, uh, a part of our, uh, of our national framework to begin with. And it was really important uh, to re-emphasize that. So a part of the primary prevention initiative uh, was geared around kind of re uh, energizing and uh, and really teaching uh, our, our large workforce what we mean by primary prevention, that, that all prevention is not created equal, if you will. The, the genesis for the idea came out of uh, a, a uh, commitment I made when I first arrived here uh, almost five years ago to visit all of our local health departments, and we managed to do that uh, all in the first year. And part of the reason for that was to, uh, I'd been a local health director for about 10 years in, in central Appalachia, so I had a really good sense of you know, how local health departments worked and, and what people were like, and, and I kind of needed to know, uh, since I was in another state at that time, although uh, 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 working in an area that bordered Tennessee, I wanted to uh, verify that uh, you know, the, the folks I was used to working with were, uh, were similar in, in, uh, in the public health enterprise there and, 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 and here. And indeed, I found out quickly that they were. It really didn't matter where I went in the state. Uh, people had a, a real heart for what they were doing, a real sense of mission, uh, a real passion for public health. After I went to probably my 30th or so visit, uh, I actually remember just uh, driving the car uh, after I'd had a conversation with, uh, with one of the regional health directors about, uh, about what kinds of things uh, that you know, we could do to improve our ability to address the, the things that were, uh, that were vexing us. Uh, all, all of these chronic preventable diseases that were being driven by what we now like to call the big four, excessive caloric intake, physical inactivity, tobacco and nicotine addiction, and other substance use disorders. Um, and the answer clearly wasn't by, uh, by waiting for people to walk through the door so we could address the issue. When I arrived, I was pretty convinced, uh, based on you know more than 15 years, of, you know, well, uh, worth of, of time thinking about these things, that uh, primary prevention was was critical to population health, and health and prosperity were linked. Um, and uh, in order to do those things effectively, you needed you needed a framework. Uh, and I uh, I worked with uh, something called the, the Baldrige Performance Excellence Framework way back in my time in the Air Force. Uh, and, had, and had used that several times since then. I was really committed to, uh, to uh, moving our organization in, in a performance excellence direction and felt that was probably the best uh, framework to do that with. So the primary prevention initiative, in addition to, uh, to being a, a, you know, that on the ground, uh, outside the walls of the health department, uh, uh, innovate to accelerate effort, was also an opportunity for anybody uh, in the local health department to experience what a uh, what a full cycle of, of, of improvement looks like. Uh, because being able to plan a project uh, to begin with, uh, being able to do the project, and then being able to see what you did, check it, and then, and then, uh, and then uh, uh, use that information to try and make it better the next time, act, so we have this complete plan, do, check, act cycle. We rolled it out statewide in January 2013, and it's been a journey ever since. Uh, we've learned a lot of things along the way, and, 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 uh, and we're continuing to to improve it.